there is a you know a network of of support. Even when people go through these, oh my God, how do they get myself into this? I, I'm totally confident to do this thing. Even when they go through that feeling, if there's somebody there that says, you're doing a great job, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you on the Microsoft board. This is what the other female on the Microsoft board said to me um, in my first couple of hours on, on the board. I mean, it's like, oh my God, I've been on this, the only female for four years. In there's another person who makes sense. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, these are really things we can change. So I want to tell you about some things we changed at Harvey Mudd College and the impact that it's had. So we have a tremendous advantage um, in terms of trying to attract female majors into computer science because every student at Mudd has to take an introductory computer science course in the first semester. So we get a chance to interest them. Now, this is not, it's a, it would be the situation at Caltech and MIT as well. They would all have to, students would have to take a computer science course, but not at most places. So we do have an advantage. And um, our students take, for the first two years, whether they're going to major in mathematics or biology or engineering, I guess I should have said this. Does anyone not know about Harvard Mudd College? <laughs> okay, Harvard Mudd College is one of the Claremont Colleges. It's undergraduate only, and all of the students have to major in science or engineering, okay? And um, we have 735 students and 82 faculty, so it's really tiny. And one of the things about mine is that the students take the same courses for the first two years. And they don't choose their, have to choose their major until they're in towards the end of their second year. So this gives us a, a huge ability to attract females into computer science. At least it would if we had any female students at Harvard Mudd College. Fortunately, we do. Um, we have moved from uh, being about 20% female uh, about a decade ago to our last two entry classes were 40% female, and this, this year's, I'm pretty sure, will be as well. So, so we have the opportunity. If we could make introductory computer science interesting, we ought to have a shot at convincing them to major. So, um, I take zero credit for any of the things I'm, I'm going to talk about because they were started before I arrived, so I have helped support them. Um, well, they've been happy here, but it wasn't, none of these were my idea. Um, so they changed the introductory course. Now, before they changed the introductory course, it was one of the least popular courses of the required courses it had to take. And today, it's tied for being one of the most popular ones, tied with math. So what did they do to change it? They made it a problem solving course and they made it fun. And they put the very best faculty, the, the, the people that everybody loves to take classes from into that introductory course, including a female faculty member. And you know, I routinely do an informal uh, survey in the fall of each year with, with the first year students and I will say, hey, what's your favorite class? And you would not believe the number of people who say, well, I hate computers, but CS5 is amazing. Um, you know, it's, it's been extraordinarily successful. So that's the first thing. The second thing, and this is started by the female faculty member who, she started working on it in her first year at mine. Um, she's the same one that's teaching in CS5. Uh, there's a conference called the Hopper Conference. Now, Grace Murray Hopper was one of those programmers that worked uh, one of the first female programmers. She uh, uh, was in the Navy and she became a, an admiral in the Navy and uh, worked in computer science her uh, entire life. I saw her, I think, when she was about 82. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she was still traveling around the world giving lectures about computer science and how exciting this was. Uh, this was probably the year 1980, so. Um, at any rate, the Grace Martin Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing uh, is a conference that celebrates the achievements of women in computer science. And um, it's routine, it happens once a year. It routinely has about 1,500 people, of whom about 25 are men. And it is the most ex inspiring experience. I mean, it is just incredible to be there because you see, you know, it's everything from a few high school students up to the most senior women in the field. And you see 
women who are great computer scientists, but there are, and you hear lots of technical talks, but you also hear a lot about career development and a lot about, um, you know, this is issues like the imposter syndrome. So uh, Christine Alvarado, who is this young uh, female computer science professor at MUD, had this idea, let's take Frosh to Hopley. Because whether they're going to major in computer science or physics or engineering or whatever, having right at the beginning of their university experience, so Hopper's always end of September, early October, right at the beginning of their university experience, college experience, to have them go to this kind of event where that is so inspirational and so affirmative, provides so much encouragement, that's going to help them whatever they choose to major in. So the first year, she took 15. The next year, she took about the same number. Last year, we took 28 students. We had 22 of them were frost females. That was a quarter of our incoming class. Um, it's in Tucson, uh, starting September 30th this year, and I would encourage any of you who would just like to see what it's like to be around, you know, 1,500 enthused, energetic, inspirational women computer scientists, you should go. Um, I, I bet we meant to take 40 one way or another. Um, then the final thing we did was we realized that um, we know that one of the primary ways to help students feel validated in a discipline is to get them engaged in doing research. And this is particularly true for women. And so what we did is we started uh, a program where for students, female students who finish their first year at my, um, we'll usually have between 10 and 12 female students doing um, research in a socially relevant application of computer science for the summer before their sophomore year. So what's a socially relevant uh, an example of something like that? Well, there's a project that I'm working on with a number of students and faculty, which is to create an age-appropriate version of Dance Dance Revolution for Seniors to improve fitness and mobility and aerobic exercise uh, for, for elders. 